Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, one of the hardest things for us to do is die. Yeah, that's right. That is so hard because it hurts. Oh, it hurts. And it takes work and effort. Oh, so annoying. Especially when we live with this little nasty flesh all our lives. It has dictated to us and ruled us and controlled us and manipulated us. And ah, well, let me tell you this, babe. When God says he wants you to die to your flesh, you at that point have to roll up your Holy Ghost sleeves and decide, okay, it's Duke time. You're not going to punch anybody else out. You're going to punch yourself out because you have to mortify the deeds of your flesh. So when you see that fine hunk walking down the street and all your hormones get to... <sighs> Panting. You shut that thing now, rebuke that spirit of lust in the name of Jesus. Look the other way. You don't need to be checking that out. Just look the other way. And whisper, help me, Lord. When you see that fine uh uh uh, uh I mean, what you guys used to call it, that fine brick house switching down the street. Mm -hmm. and you're taking measurements and you're trying to imagine what all that looks like without a, a stitch of clothes on with your naughty self. You better rebuke that thought in the name of Jesus. Lord, forgive me. No, no, no. I rebuke that. No. In the name of Jesus. Turn the other way. That's right. You fight that bad boy. When you feel like somebody gets on your nerves and you want to get them told, and you want to open your mouth wide and let your tongue have full control and your flesh express fully. And you know the Holy Spirit will be quenched if you let her rip. Guess what? Don't let her rip. Zip the lip. Don't rip it. Zip it. Because you need to learn to feed the Spirit of God and starve the flesh. Because if you don't starve that flesh, that flesh is going to creep all up and start taking over just like a bucket full of roaches. You've got to mortify the deeds of the flesh. You've got to shove your pride down low enough you can actually sit on that bad boy you sit on that pride till that pride stops rearing his ugly head and you be honest with yourself when you see it too oh that's my pride oh god forgive me and then you check yourself and make a, a reassessment you get it together realign yourself Check your attitude. Check your thoughts. Sometimes you're critical of other people because you're jealous of them. Oh, that's true. You know, we don't realize how much our flesh tries to spoil everything God is doing in our lives. Don't let your flesh mess you up and don't let the devil or his demons. It's not worth it. All that God has for us, all the promises, all the blessings associated with keeping covenant with God. And you going to break covenant with God and go slide up under somebody's sheets? I don't think so. Ain't nobody worth you missing out on the blessings of God. Nobody. I don't care how hot and bothered you think you are. God can chill that thing out so fast. But you got to be willing to ask. See, one thing I found out about God. He does not 
require anything of you or me without giving us the ability to act it out, to obey what he has commanded. He will empower you to do what he wants you to do. No matter how much you don't want to, he will switch that little thing around and even your attitude will have an adjustment because of God's touch, because he's fair. He will help you. But you have to ask. He's not going to shove it down your throat now. He's got to know you want it. Okay. I hope that makes you think. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so he will exalt you in due time. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up higher and higher. And, and it will be higher and higher. You will go from strength to strength, from glory to glory. You watch and see. Stick with him, kid. He'll show you the ropes. <laughs>